My name is Roger Wood, and I'm a queer porn star. What makes Roger Wood queer? Let's see. What makes me queer is um, is I've never identified with the black and white terminology of homosexual, and I find that to be a very black and white term, and just as black and white as heterosexual. And I really enjoy the um, kind of the uh, the spectrum of of fluidity that the word queer allows. Queer sex is beautiful because I can have sex with any identity of gender that I feel sexy about that particular moment and I can express any particular gender and I can uh, take on any particular role that I feel like expressing at the time and the word queer offers such a beautiful openness uh, for expression. Again, it changes all the time so these days I'm really into the queerness of um, playing with young tranny boys and smacking them around and uh, something about, you know, two uh, female-born individuals that identify as male that are calling each other faggots. There's something really not homosexual about that, but it's totally queer. I smack people around that enjoy being smacked around, and I'm the type of individual that really likes to express my sexuality by being very physically... Um, I guess forceful, and uh, I like to grab and push and hold down and constrain, and um, I really enjoy the feeling of people struggling back, knowing they enjoy that. Also, I enjoy the feeling of them giving in, knowing they enjoy that as well. What I find to be revolutionary about being an exhibitionist in the Bay Area today is that there seems to be quite a community of it, and I find that to be revolutionary, the fact that... Uh, we're supported in it and that you know that there's even like safe consensual ways to express exhibitionism uh today uh right this this website this pornography is a beautiful way to express uh, safe sane and consensual exhibitionism um and i think that is absolutely re revolutionary that that we have a community that supports that that we can all feel really um you know positive about you know our our needs of whatever our needs are for being an exhibitionist, whether it's wanting attention, which I, of course I do enjoy, or uh, whatever it is for you, I truly do enjoy fucking my partner in front of her sexy, sex-positive friends that are that enjoy being voyeurs from time to time as well. So that's my that's my favorite form of exhibitionism is having a sexy group of queers around to fuck in front of. That's fucking so much fun. So much fun. Well, having sex in front of an audience or on film feels different than having sex in private because I believe there's a charged uh, energy to it that I know that people are watching and I get extremely nervous and I really enjoy that and I get extremely nervous all the way up to the point until somebody says go and then I just get to start fucking. I really enjoy that nervous energy. It's extremely life-affirming and I like to just put, like I say, put my head down and just start fucking it when I know people are watching because I'm just so worked up I don't know what else to do with myself. And that usually tends to work out fine. Uh, my partner doesn't seem to complain. Um, so when we're in private, I, I tend to be much more experimental because I'm not so nervous and um, I'm not so focused on just um, entertaining. Oh, gender has definitely affected every aspect of my life since I was very young. Um, you know, I, I looked like a little boy growing up, and I really enjoyed that, and I identified as a little boy growing up, and uh, I still do, and, um, you know, I also identify as a big boy now, and, uh, and yeah, I mean, it's, I, uh, you know, I've definitely had, like, you know, male, female, or other, I've, like, been checking the other box for a long time, and it will change your life, and I'm grateful to live in San Francisco with a supportive community, and, um, in case anybody's wondering, identify as um, F to James Brown. I don't know, F to James Brown just kind of means um, that I, I don't necessarily identify as male and I don't identify as female and uh, it's just a term that I came up with to, I don't know, I, I just felt like if I'm going to be a gender, I want a lot of soul. <laughs> so I, uh, you know, I always felt like I've been transitioning into more of a soul man than a man, so I always tell people that I'm F to James Brown. I run a 
gender organization now called the Gender Blender, and we often ask we ask people, you know, how does gender affect their lives, and the number one answer we get is that it doesn't. I would like to see people be more conscious of the way gender affects their lives. How to approach doing that, I'm not quite sure. I don't necessarily, you know, I really am grateful to make queer porn and other outlets of queer art to put out there that, you know, gender expression um, needs, you know, needs to be not so black and white. Um, but at the same time, people are extremely sensitive um, and, and don't want this don't want this topic necessarily shoved down their throat. So in order to bring gender consciousness to, you know, to communities outside of, you know, queer San Francisco area, um, you know, the, the, the approach needs to be tactful when we're not preaching to the choir, you know. Be as tacky as you want when we're preaching to the queer choir, but when, you know, I think if we're trying to get gender consciousness out there to the mainstream, it's, it's you know, approach is going to be everything. I also began doing drag before I began transitioning and I definitely was using uh, being a drag king as a, f as a way to express uh, the more masculine side that I wanted to present myself as and I really appreciate it as a medium and I'm also really grateful that I've been able to come out and transition now and I think I have been doing much less drag because of that and that's, that's totally fine, I'll just uh, make more porn. I guess I started performing pornography before I started transitioning my gender but there was never a doubt that I wanted my um, pornography persona of Roger Wood to uh, be male and to perform as male. And that, that decision before I started transitioning was definitely, again, like uh, like doing being a drag king, like it really helped just prepare me for transitioning. And I really used the, the venue of queer porn or doing performance art or drag as a male persona or even a genderqueer androgynous persona to, to just as a therapy for like how I wanted to transition my gender even though I wasn't quite ready to do that just yet and uh, it really helped it really helped and right on Roger Wood for being male all right